G'day viewers, how are you? This is Michael here. Um, I'd like to talk to you about coming up next, why worms over dung beetles and why O'Donnell's Odgy Homestead over Marty's Garden. That's coming up next. I live on the central coast. I'm, I'm about an hour to an hour and a half north of Sydney and up where we are, well, why an hour and a half or to an hour? Well, that's because of, if you're a rat, a rev head, <laughs> a rat, you can, get up to, you can get up to my place in about an hour. But if you're like me, a bit more of a, you know, a decent sort of a, a safety conscious person, it takes me about an hour and a half. Now, if you go another two and a half hours up the road, you'll find a bloke, I don't know, Marty from Marty's Garden. And Marty Ware is actually his name is, this man is brilliant with worms. Now, why have I singled him out? No, it's not because he's bigger than me. I'm not a bully. No, it's because what he does. He's big on good worms. On my place, I have bad worms. And so I thought I would just bring up this subject about him. And um, why would you have worms compared to having beetles? Now, really simply put, dung beetles and worms both look after the earth. Without them, the place would be a mess. There's, there, but there's big differences between the two. The differences are, dung beetles grab manure and they, depending on which breed, or, well, what breed? Yeah, whatever. They do it differently. You get the ones that you see in the movies rolling the dun beetle, the dun along the ground, and then you get the ones that just pull it down into the earth. In Australia, we get the ones here that just pull it down into the earth. Now, they pull it down about three to four feet down, depending on, you know, what's the structure of the, the ground, and they improve the soil that way. Now, on the other side of the coin, you have the likes of worms. They tend to get all dead matter, and turn it into soil, um, into a compost it basically. Just, uh, the difference, there's a subtle difference there. One only works with manure and puts it down in the ground, which is great, keeps the flies down, improves the soil. And the other is the worm, and it does all that other stuff. It, it gets, gets basically garbage and turns it into good, a good material. Now, which one's better? Well, you would first think worms are better. It does everything. But worms don't grow in bad conditions. Um, it, it likes it moist. It likes it where there's um, plenty of um, plant matter to eat. I mean, if you've just got barren dirt and then you've got a worm, you'd just die, in my opinion, or move on to a better spot. Whereas the dumb beetle, he likes it arid and he finds that manure and he pulls it into the ground. So look, they've both got their place because of this. And they, uh, they've got their niche, you could say. So I would not say take one over the other, but if you live in a, dry, in a wet climate, I would take the worms. If you live in a dry climate, I'd take the dun beetle. So they've got their place. Do not cast one out of the other. And it's the same with Marty's garden or me. Marty is brilliant about plants and gardens and micro gardens and all of that type of thing and worms. But it's the same. You can't throw one or the other out because I look at, I tell you about animals and what you can do with animals to improve your soil. Uh, the likes of rabbits and uh, quail and uh, pigeons and goats and whatever or oh, even guinea pigs I have all these types of animals if you watch my channel more often or go and have a look down in the video section you'll see that I look after you in that area so again there's a place for him and me and so I urge you to go over to Marty's go have a look at my channel and if you want to find out about some arid country you should look at um, India Yard Homestead. He's in Western Australia. It's 
terribly dry over there and and he's doing marvelous things in in that area now then you could go down victoria and uh and see the likes of um oh geez flies <laughs> and go down there and see um uh, homestead oz or little gardens big dreams they are brilliant in that area so there's a lot to be learnt from people in Australia. And you've got Farming Life Australia up there in Queensland too, further up. But he's a big scale sort of a farm. So, so we're talking about me here and at the moment and the likes of uh, Ga <laughs> Marty's Garden. I'm getting a bit tongue-tied now. So I must be needing to finish up. So you can understand what I'm saying. At the end of the day, pinch a bit from everybody because everybody can add to your, your, your ideas. Because not everything I do might not appeal to you, but stuff that Marty might do the same, might appeal to you more. So I like to say, comment down the bottom, give me an understanding where you're coming from, and so I might be able to help you. Catch ya, and I'll see you next time. Because remember, without you, there's no me, and I like being here. So you just stick around, okay? You here? Bye.